Hello, my name's Andrew Walker, I'm Catchment Development Leader for Yorkshire Water. Uh, my job is to manage our raw water catchments to try and improve water quality uh, so that we don't spend as much down at the treatment works. I work a lot with landowners and tenants uh, to try and optimise the way that we manage catchment land um, so that we can reduce particularly things like colour um, in the bottle here which costs an awful lot uh, to treat and remove from the water supply. Keithley Moor is one of uh, two or three reservoirs which feeds one of our treatment works just down the road. Um, what we're doing here is to try to um, restore the hydrology of the peat moorland system that supplies the water. When peat degrades uh, it releases colour into the water and that colour is very expensive to remove. Um, if we can restore the hydrology or the water table within the peat system it will resaturate the peat and that should reduce the colour going forwards. The colour levels in all of our reservoirs has increased over the last 20 years and it's getting to a stage now where conventional treatment processes are struggling to be able to treat that water. So it makes more sense really to address the cause of the colour rather than continue to treat the system symptoms. For the last two years we've been monitoring this site to understand where the water colour is coming from because not all of the moor contributes colour all of the time. So Leeds University, one of our strategic research partners, has been involved heavily in monitoring and identifying where the colour is coming from. So that helps us prioritise where we're going to do the work within the catchment. We're doing the work on Keithley Moor because we want to try and address the causes of colour rather than treat the symptoms. There are actually wider benefits on undertaking moorland restoration. It's not just us that are doing it as Yorkshire Water. There's a huge investment going in across the whole of the Pennines to try and protect and stabilise these valuable peatland systems. They provide um, a living for, for the farmers, for sheep, for grouse, um, for us for water quality, but also um, they're an intrinsic part of what makes Yorkshire Yorkshire. Uh, the heather moorlands um, that we all love are in danger of being eroded if we don't build some resilience into them and try to protect them for the future. Well, following on from the monitoring that Leeds University have done, uh, we've commissioned Penny Anderson Associates, who are one of the leading ecological consultants on moorland restoration, to help develop an implementation plan. So that's what we're actually going to be doing. Um, the aim of it is to try and raise the water table uh, and get a more diverse vegetation structure so that we can protect the peat and build on the peat going forwards. The actual work will be managed uh, and undertaken by a company called Dinsdale Moorland Services. Uh, these people have operated over a, a huge extent of the Pennines undertaking moorland restoration works uh, on, on quite a significant scale. The machinery that they have um, is designed to protect the moorland habitat so that they, they don't damage it. Um, and we'll be using fairly innovative state-of-the-art techniques like ground penetrating radar to try and identify where peat pipes, for example, uh, exist because these cause erosion from the bottom up, if you like. So by um, severing these peat pipes and blocking them, we can help raise the water table that way. Whilst there may be a little bit of disruption uh, whilst the work is undertaken, what we're trying to do is to restore them all and to protect the peat uh, for the wider benefit of us all and ultimately reduce customers' bills. If you'd like further information, please visit our website at yorkshirewater.com.